A well-suited Mark Zuckerberg is dark in the door of Capitol Hill. It is an extraordinary moment as he greets senators and representatives. Maybe they, and most certainly their staff, have looked at Bloomberg Business Week. Very quietly on the cover is Volkswagen. Less quietly inside is a small matter involving Mr. Zuckerberg and involving Facebook as well. It's hard to read a little bit. They go out in the find the morons for me. She's called me a moron for over a decade. We welcome Carol Masser never, of Bloomberg. Never, never. This is quite a story about something that's obvious, but it's not. Exactly. And this is what it's all about, finding a, a kind of getting more transparency about social media. Let's bring in Zeke Fox, because Zeke, you spent about a year doing this story. Tell us, first of all, what affiliate marketers are. So affiliate marketers are middlemen who buy ads on Facebook and other platforms for products that they don't own. So that could be products on Amazon, legit products, or in a lot of cases, it's a scam, like a diet pill that doesn't work or a brain pill that promises to make you a genius in a minute. Um, all sorts of expensive things that uh, built consumers out of their money. All right, so let's bring in the Facebook picture because Facebook's certainly in the spotlight with Mark Zuckerberg up on Capitol Hill. What's the Facebook connection with affiliate marketers? So all these affiliate marketers get together for conferences. I went to one in Berlin. It was hosted by a message board called Stack That Money. All these guys are there talking about their scams. And the crazy thing was, on stage, it certainly appeared like they were a sponsor of the conference, were these saleswomen from Facebook. And the affiliate marketers, guys who told me they were running scams, said that Facebook salespeople would encourage them to spend more money. Yeah, but, okay, I got taken on a matchbook when I was eight years old, and the back of a matchbook cover was the scam at the time. You know, you did something scammy and you lost your $14.22. Where are the police to go after the scam artists or the police to go after Mr. Zuckerberg and the distributor, the new technology distributor of the scam? Yeah, I mean, Facebook has never been held responsible, even when these scammers have been caught. Okay, who's going to go after their them? Platform. Who, local police? The, F, the FBI, when they're done raiding lawyers? Are they going to go after Facebook on this? Yeah, I think this would be a good thing for Congress to ask Mark Zuckerberg about. I mean, he's created this ad platform that's so powerful. These scammers say that it's revolutionized the game for them. They don't even need to figure out who to give the matchbook to. Facebook figures out that you're the most gullible person and just shows you that ad. See, Carol, how he's looking at me he's the most gullible person? My mother would do this. I mean, these scams, Carol, I mean, come on. Listen, they're, they're addictive. They're very serious, and there's a lot of money involved. <clears throat> what I guess my question is, is Facebook a little bit complicit in this? I mean, were they aware of what was going on? Were they aware that there were scammers out there? So Facebook says, we don't want these guys on the platform. We don't want to make money from malicious ads. And they have a whole department that's trying to catch bad advertisers and stop them. But at the same time, the bad advertisers say, we love Facebook. We couldn't do what we're doing without Facebook. And there are some salespeople there who are helping us do it. Caroline, I, I suckered for this one. The guy in there, the protagonist in uh, Zeke's wonderful work, was running a free iPhone ad. Right. One of my various sundry children actually showed me the damn ad. Right. We're we can get a free iPhone. It's ubiquitous. I mean, these are all over the place. We've all been hit by them. Right. I mean, these are just like the scams. You pollute the whole internet. Everyone's seen them. And you sort of think, who would even fall for that? But it turns out there's big money in it. And there's sort of like this club of guys who have all gotten rich quick running these scams. Zeke, how much money? You say there's a lot of money. Facebook, 2.2 billion users. How much money for them? I mean, it's really hard to say. Like, one crew of affiliate marketers running these sketchy ads in San Diego was busted last year. They had taken in $179 million using fake endorsements from celebrities like Dr. Oz. That's a really popular one yeah. is to say, oh, Dr. Oz says, buy these diet pills, they'll work right now, when really he's got nothing to do with it. Zeke, we've got Mark Zuckerberg at Capitol Hill. He's today saying how much they are actually looking to now sacrifice profit to help protect privacy. What are they doing to protect users against these sorts of scams? They are putting money to work. They are trying to root it out to a certain extent. Yes, yeah, so last year they hired a senior guy and put him in charge of their department that stops these bad ads. And he says that he's made a lot of progress, that they still have work to do, but that he said winter is coming. 
they may be partying now, but it's not going to last, and that they're going to stop all these bad advertisers. And they are saying that, Zeke, but the other situation is kind of a whack and mole situation, right? Because these scammers can kind of figure out different ways to access Facebook. Right, and what they say is that Facebook is such a good platform to advertise that they'll do whatever it takes to get on there. And Facebook's revenue is $41 billion. So they, how can they police such a vast platform? I want to go to your next article because I know you're going to do a follow-up on this. I'm going to go back to where, where are the police? Where are the people to go after Facebook to go after these scam artists? Seriously. I mean, the people responsible for it are the Federal Trade Commission, and they do get some of these guys. But right. what I'm told is that they just don't have the resources to yeah. stop all of them. Sounds for Zeke, thank you so much. Really, congratulations on a, a scandal. Um, I'll see you, Carol, afterwards. We're going to get that matchbook out. <laughs> we are, indeed. Get free, free something as well.